Hey everyone, in the last episode I talked about the damaging effects of meth to teeth and gums. The broken teeth, the discolored teeth, loss of teeth, xerostomia, which is dry mouth, bruxism, which is teeth grinding, and the associated effects that come with it. Today I'm going to talk about how to minimize the damage caused by meth to dentition. Of course, the very first step is to stop using meth. While in the process of getting the help you need though, there are a few things you can do to minimize the damage caused by meth to your mouth, to your teeth and gums. Now, one of the things you can do is to simply increase your water intake. Increasing your water intake helps immensely because meth dries out the saliva gland, which decreases the amount of saliva in your mouth. Saliva, in addition to helping you lubricate food when you eat, also is protective to the teeth and gums. Another thing you can do is simply brushing and flossing daily. You also want to use a good antibacterial mouthwash to decrease the amount of bacteria in your mouth. It's also very important to avoid sugary drinks and processed foods as these have very high amounts of sugar that can speed up the process of dental cavities. It's important to use a mouth guard as well because meth can cause a condition known as bruxism which is a lot of teeth grinding. So a mouth guard is protective in that regard. Studies have also shown that cigarette smoking makes meth mouth worse. So it's important to make an attempt to quit smoking cigarettes as well. Of course, you want to follow up with your dentist regularly. In terms of treatment for meth mouth overall, again, the first step is to get help with meth addiction. Meth addiction treatment involves getting a detox off of meth. It involves inpatient or outpatient addiction treatment. Behavioral therapy is a very important as well when it comes to meth addiction and it's also very important to treat co-occurring disorders. Now when I say co-occurring disorders I simply mean someone who has an issue with drugs and also has a mental illness like depression or anxiety or bipolar disorder or PTSD. What we see very commonly is a situation where people attempt to treat their mental illness using drugs like meth. So it's important to treat the mental illness properly to help with your addiction. There are no FDA approved medications for meth addiction like you have for alcohol and opioids, but behavioral therapies are very helpful. After addressing your meth addiction, it's important to follow up with the dentist. It's however very important to quit first because a lot of dentists will not treat your meth mouth if you're still actively using. The reason for that is because you're going to continue to create damage as you use meth. Unfortunately, the damage caused by meth is irreversible to the teeth and gums. So the treatment will depend on the level of damage. In mild cases, just fillings and crowns may be sufficient. In severe cases, however, teeth extractions and implants or even dentures may be needed. Because of the inflammation and decay that comes with meth mouth, it's also important to consider pain management. I'll strongly implore you to stay away from addictive pain medications like opioids. You want to preferably go with non-addictive pain medications like ibuprofen and acetaminophen. The reason for that is because Use of opioids is a very slippery slope and you could potentially end up with another addiction. Meth mouth is just one of the many deleterious effects of this drug. So it's very, very important to stay away from meth and also for those who are addicted to meth, get the help you need. Thank you for listening. Stay safe and I will speak to you soon.